In June 1967, the Air Force tested a C-130 Hercules transporter as a gunship, modifying the aircraft with four 7.62 millimeter miniguns, the same as the three used on the AC-47, along with four larger 20 millimeter Vulcan cannons. Both the 7.62 and 20 millimeter guns were based on the Gatling gun principle of revolving barrels, permitting a rate of fire of several hundred rounds per minute per gun in short bursts. Night observation systems, an infrared sensor, a searchlight, and a targeting computer were added in an attempt to build what some called an airborne tank. The plane could fly faster than 350 miles per hour and had a range of 2,500 miles. Well, there is also a requirement for uh, interdiction of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And they needed uh, airplanes with long loiter times, needed airplanes with more sophisticated uh, infrared sighting equipment, and so on. And the AC-130 fulfilled that role, and it could go up and down the uh, trail and with its 105 millimeter cannon and laser versions, uh, take out trucks, you know, with a, with a single round. Um, most effective, it was declared by the Vietnamese after the war to be their most feared weapon against them on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The gunship three the AC-130 was really the most capable and the true beginning of the effective gunship to be used for not only point defense, but also for interdiction of enemy supplies. These modified Hercules, designated AC-130As, featured the four 7.62 millimeter miniguns and four 20 millimeter cannons, along with more advanced targeting equipment and navigation systems. The planes were painted black overall and known as Plain Janes to distinguish them from other variations. In September 1967, the airplane with the call sign Spectre was sent to Southeast Asia for field testing and combat. This AC-130 was soon performing armed reconnaissance missions over the Ho Chi Minh Trail and proving its worth. The new gunship quickly and thoroughly knocked out convoys on the trail at night with stunning efficiency. The Air Force quickly decided to bring more Spectres online. Four more arrived at bases in Thailand in the fall of 1968, comprising the new 16th Air Commando Squadron. By the end of the year, these planes were conducting regular patrols of the Ho Chi Minh Trail in Laos. We flew close air support missions where we were assigned to cover a uh, camp that was on the ground. If they were in trouble, the uh, AC-130 would be called on to provide close air support for them. Then other primary type of mission would uh, fly the uh, armed reconnaissance missions when we flew the uh, Ho Chi Minh Trail in search of the uh, truck traffic that was bring, coming down from North Vietnam into the South Vietnam. And that was uh, probably one of our, our best, our glory, glory mission was going out for truck killing. During the Southeast Asia War, the North Vietnamese were bringing supplies down the Ho Chi Minh Trail and bringing them into South Vietnam. And using conventional Air Force aircraft, we weren't being very effective in interdicting those supplies. But when the AC-130A came online, it had such tremendous firepower and sensors that it had all out of proportion to its numbers, it was destroying trucks. And in fact, gunships together destroyed over 10,000 enemy trucks during the Southeast Asia War. Trucks uh, would be going coming down the road in the jungle under the canopy, and we would uh, fly, our sensors would be uh, searching the, uh, the roadway until we found a target, and then we'd go into an orbit over that target and, and uh, start our firing.